Hey, this is Rolf, Block Ops. Again, continuing on from my explanation of secure nodes, I realized I needed to provide an example of how it works. So, came back and I'm going to go through the example of how the challenging and response and tracking and publishing and paying works. So, go through this with me. All right, first off, the these are the system uh, servers that are run by and operated by the Zencash team. And over here we got the secure nodes. There's more than one. And they do some things on the blockchain and do some things over the internet using JSON. So first of all, the challenge publishing system, Chow PubSyst, publishes a challenge. We're going to start out by doing this once a day. So it publishes a challenge on a port in a JSON format, which is just uh, the name of the item and then the value of the item and it's going to publish a new challenge and in that challenge it's going to include a transaction number that's somewhere in the Zencash blockchain, the challenge sequence number and then a shielded address, a Z address that the response needs to be sent back to. So over here on a secure node, a secure node is a node running the Zencash node software after it's been upgraded to use OpenSSL, which is in progress, and then a companion app, probably going to be written in Python, which we call the secure node app that runs alongside and on the same box uh, as the Zen secure node. So it's going to see that there's a new challenge and it's maybe every minute or so uh, looking at the IP address and port number for a new JSON uh, challenge to be published. So it sees that there's a challenge and it unpacks it and says okay well we got a, a challenge sequence number, we've got a, a shielded address we have to send a, a memo to and we've got a transaction number. So it goes through its Zencash blockchain, finds that transaction number and then gets the first uh, address, the first Zencash address that's in that, that blockchain. That's going to be the answer. So it creates a response, and in that response it has a few different things. Uh, it's got the answer. Uh, it's got the T address of the secure node itself, which is how we refer to the secure node. It's got the T address of the staking wallet. So that's the, uh, the staking wallet has at least 42 Zen in it. That's, that's part of the requirement. Um, and uh, then it takes that information, that challenge response, and encrypts it with its SSL certificate. So it's got the private uh, key of the SSL certificate and encrypts it. And then it publishes that information on a, a port in JSON format. So it publishes the public SSL certificate and the encrypted block of text that is the response. So that's great that it's published it, but nobody knows that it's there. So then what, it, what the secure node app needs to do is create a shielded transaction, a Z transaction. And in that memo field, it's going to provide the fully qualified domain name, uh, or it could just be the IP address and port um, of, where the, of, of where that response can be found. And so then that shielded transaction, that Z transaction is going to get created and published to the blockchain. Okay? And that's going to this response address. So it publishes the response and then it tells the Zen secure node system, hey, I've published my response. All right, so over here, we got the tracking system. That's the one that receives all those responses. So it's, this tracking system is going to see that there's a new response and it's sent to the, the private address of the tracking system. And um, then it opens that memo field and it sees what URL it's supposed to go to to get the response. And it goes over to the secure node app and gets it from that port in, in JSON format. And then it's got the response. Then it's going to validate that that response got, has the correct information. First of all, that it's encrypted, it can decrypt it, um, and then it's got the right address from the correct uh, transaction number in it. And then it's going to record it. 
So it's basically going to collect all the different responses from hundreds or thousands of different secure nodes out there and record it. And there is a time period for this, this challenge to be responded by. So everything has to come back in an hour. So at the end of that hour, then it stops checking for, for new things and, and just uh, discards the, the new stuff. So it's got that information. It maintains it in a data, database. Yes, in the future, we want to do this in a more distributed fashion uh, in, in a lot of different ways. But we want to also get secure nodes up and running first. And this is straightforward technology here. Publishing information in a JSON format, things checking it, sending a shielded transaction, maintaining it in a database, like a MySQL database or something like that. Then the reporting system. This is what users can see. So this is running a web page. It gets information from the tracking system. It can be on the same server. It's probably better to not have it on the same server, though. Uh, it gets information from the, the tracking system. And it, when a new response comes in, it updates the web page so people can see that their responses are happening. And it's going to be searchable. Um, and then for each challenge period, it has a record of every secure node address and staking address that did a valid response. And it'll also uh, publish that information in the form of a graph and over time and things like that. So this is the reporting system. Then we're going to run a, a payment process to the, and, and the node payment system, the node pay syst, is the application that runs the payment process. So over the course of a week, so every node gets a chance to uh, meet all the challenges. And so say that this one secure node met all seven challenges that we start out doing in a daily fashion during the course of the week. That, that'll um, be seven valid responses. And some other uh, nodes might have been up and only done three valid responses or four valid responses. If we increase it to a challenge every hour, then you know you'll get 24 valid responses, that'll be the max you can get in a day. Maybe somebody's done maintenance on their server and it's only done 23. We don't want to penalize them for only for only missing one hour because they provided 23 hours of, of valid um, service. Anyway, so the node payment system on a, on a weekly basis will calculate how much each staking T address is paid based upon the number of valid challenges, challenge responses that were made and um, how, much, how much Zen there is. And that's 3.5% of the mining reward. So there's a fixed amount, and it gets spread out amongst all the different secure nodes that meet the challenges. So it calculates the payout to all the staking address, then pays it in Zen Cash. So that's, that's the process. It's pretty straightforward. We do have to write this software, and, um, and we've got the specification. I'm already talking to developers and project managers, software development project managers about this. And there are a couple of other things that I mentioned in the forum post on this that we also want to have is a, is a good block explorer so people can uh, manually explore all the blocks in the Zencash and, and look through them. Um, and also we'd like to have something that tracks all the secure nodes that are out there. Um, it might be that we can do that through this system and then provide information to that. That's not central to the actual challenge, response, tracking, and payment, so I didn't include it in this example. But this is the big picture of how it works. Uh, and there's no real esoteric technology here. It's just, well, we're going to publish things, and we're going to send some transactions, and then we're going to record the results of those, and then we're going to pay over time. So looking forward to everybody out there that is, it wants to run Zencash secure nodes at, when we get the system up and running. Uh, I know that I'm going to you know, publish the third part of uh, how to build a, a Zencash secure node on, on my website. And um, if you are a developer and want to be part of creating this, please uh, join us on the Slack, join us on the forum, make comments, uh, questions, direct message me. Let's get this going. Thanks.